konnichiwa in today's restaurant vlog we are going on a culinary journey to japan honey based in the beautiful waterfall corner is daruma by oskido a teppan and japanese restaurant that serves authentic japanese cuisine in the most fascinating way stay tuned to find out exactly what i mean by that and to hear from the man himself on what inspired him to open such a memorable restaurant so without further ado sit back relax and join me on this culinary journey to authentic japanese cuisine seating area is absolutely perfect for a romantic date night with your significant other or perhaps a girls night with your bestie however i would not recommend it for large groups of people and this is simply because you are seated in a straight line so if you would like to make conversation amongst all your guests this can be quite difficult especially because the restaurant does get loud when it's busy as you guys have heard if you are a group of two to four people then this would be the ideal place to sit especially if you get the corner of the table like we did for larger groups of people i would suggest you look into booking a private room or sitting at the adjacent tables however that does mean that you will miss out on the experience of watching your food being made right in front of you we just need to order food i'm not sure what i'm gonna have but let's see what the menu is saying let's talk about the menu shall we I would say the restaurant's pricing is more on the affordable side in my books considering the experience you get over and above just your food. We opted for their three course set menu which is plus minus 300 rand depending on your meat selection. I liked that although it was a set menu there was some flexibility in your choices such as which meat selection you'd like, rice or noodles and even which dessert you'd like or a hot drink if you weren't feeling dessert. Their menu had a wide variety of Japanese cuisine to choose from and different selections of meats so whether you're a beef chicken lamb or seafood kind of girl or guy this menu had something for everyone
can tell them what what inspired you to start this restaurant. Ah, <laughs> well, yo, this is a super interview, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good for you that you visit me, here. Yeah? And what inspired the restaurant is that, you know, I like to see uh, the chefs cooking in front of me. And actually, I first saw the restaurant in Deben and I said, wow, you know, let me see what's happening. And all of a sudden, every time when I was in Deben, I used to visit Aroma because I want to see my food being made. As you can see what the chefs are doing. And here I am, I ended up becoming an owner of Daruma by Oskil. All you need to do is that comment and subscribe to my girl's channel. All right, subscribe. There is the button. There is the button. Subscribe now, 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 now. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, guys. So the show is about to begin. The show is yeah, about to start. Let's sit back, relax, and watch our food being made. Purr. The service was also really great as well. From the moment we stepped in, we were taken care of. Just prepare to be patient for the experience to begin when you visit the restaurant on a very busy day such as this, but it's definitely worth the wait in my books. The chefs are also really friendly and willing to answer any questions you may have regarding your food and how it's made. I also found it so kind of the restaurant owner himself to be present and thank his guests for paying his restaurant a visit as seen earlier. I think it adds that personal touch, something I had never experienced prior to this occasion.
in terms of the ambiance and decor i do wish there were a bit more japanese touches however i really did appreciate the blue ambient lighting at the bar which you guys would have seen earlier on in the video as well as the logo of the restaurant itself with its bright red and japanese font the chef's attire as well as the packaging that the chopsticks came in which gave you easy to learn japanese words all these touches really added to that authentic feel of Japanese cuisine. Alrighty guys, so our food is done being cooked in front of us. That was so fascinating. I am so fascinated. <laughs> I think it's a really really cool experience to be able to watch your food being made so now we are about to dig in to the meal having chicken and noodles and roasted veg my sister is having seafood as per usual period just a forehead so yeah let us In terms of the ambiance, I think my preference would be to visit this restaurant in the evening. Granted, I haven't seen it during the day, but I really enjoyed the evening vibes. I feel like it added to the whole experience and made you feel like you were outside of South Africa while you were literally just in Johannesburg.
you guys can hear me, I'm gonna close off the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you guys will check out the room. Have you checked it out before? What was your experience? You know, let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to like, comment.